Hello everybody, Terak37 here, and welcome back to Let's Solo Dragonbane. Um, hopefully this one goes a bit better. Uh, depending on how <laughs> on how this goes, uh, if I can beat... If it takes too many times just me beating the Captive Orc mission, I'll consider the, the end of, I guess, a... <laughs> I don't know, a season or whatever. Um, uh, if this goes well, then... You know, I'll keep going, and if the character dies uh, in the next one, then we'll consider that. Then I'll stop then, and I'll find a different system to try out. Or maybe not try out, go back to, but... Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to go through all of the stuff we already did, because it won't change... Uh, <laughs> Let's be honest, it's not really going to change much of the, uh... Like, the dialogue isn't going to change, because most of it was just, uh, the wolf... The wolfkin engulfer, uh, talking to us. However, I will introduce, uh, the character Halvelda Foamborn. She is a human mariner. Um, her charisma's awful, but, like, I rolled for her stats, and this is the stat it came out it came up with, so... Honestly, like pretty good stats all around other than charisma. Um, she's got the uh, human ability adaptive, where when rolling for a skill, she can choose to make the roll using another skill of of your choice, but you have to justify how the, you use the selected skill instead of the normal one. Uh, so that can be really helpful. Uh, Army of One, the same thing we've done before. She gets two initiative cards and keeps both, and so she'll have two turns each round. And then Sea Legs, um, which is you can activate this ability, uh, not an action. When performing an action in water, even if only waist deep, you are then safe from all negative effects of being in water for one round, including the risk of drowning. I don't know how often we're going to run into water, but hey, if we do. Um, these are her skills. Uh, swords are her best skills. Uh, swimming, she's good at swimming, hunting and fishing, acrobatic, she's good at awareness, good at evasion, good at sleight of hand and sneaking. Um, she's got a torch, she's got a scimitar, she's got leather armor, a grappling hook, and 10 meters of rope. She's got an ornate key as a memento, and a flint and tinder, and three field rations. Her background, she's an adult. Uh, she, her weakness is she's a monster slayer. All monsters are evil and must be slain, which I'm going to uh, interpret that as if she sees a monster, she will not retreat or flee. She will try to kill it. Um, if she doesn't see it, she's not going to necessarily go out of her way. She might be more likely to go out of her way. But... Not necessarily. Not too far out of the way, especially if, since she's got a mission to deal with. And she also has a silver tooth. That's about it. Um, found this on Pinterest. Um, so yeah, let's go back to this. So... We will start on the plunging path. A sloping corridor carries you into the oppressive depths of the breach. Tread softly, lest you wake the monst the creatures of fang and wing nesting within the cracks and hollows of this ancient passage. So, let's roll for sneaking. Uh, I think last time I gave a boon because we're aware of the threat. So I will do the same here. All right. Succeeded. We are able to sneak our way out past without causing a sound. Um, as we go down the plunging path, we come to the charred tomb where fire long ago raven ravaged this mausoleum. There are five remaining sarcophagi amid piles of ash. Find ye a path through a door hidden within one of these coffins, but disturb not the scorched dead nor the hidden trap. So... Uh, what did we do before? I think we did spot hidden. And again, we'll give a boon because of Engulfer's visions. She is somewhat aware. 
And thank goodness we had that, because uh, I think the first roll technically was a 17? Yeah, it was, so yeah. Okay, so she's able to find uh, the hidden door. And it probably... Yeah, she's able to find the hidden door. Now we come to the unknown part. So... We find ourselves in an inhabited outpost. Interesting. Let's see how many times. Okay, we're only going to roll one time on the location details table. So, there is a sealed doorway. Um, okay, okay. And then we need to roll for inhabitants. Who is inhabiting this outpost? Orcs. That actually makes makes some kind of sense because we are looking for an orc um, so these guys might not necessarily be um, they may they might not necessarily be friendly but they might not necessarily be unfriendly either um, you know what? Let's see. All right, I'm gonna ask a yes or no question, and I uh, this one's just gonna be a straight D6. Um, are the orcs hostile? Yes. Okay. Um. So an extreme yes would have meant they immediately attack. I'm gonna say yes means that they. Okay, so because it's a sealed doorway, I'm going to say the sealed doorway is to get into the orc outpost. Yes means that when she gets through the do the sealed door doorway, um, they will be violent. Um, like, extreme yes would have been, there would have been guards outside that tried to kill her immediately. Um, so, let's go with... Well, I know for a fact we have some orcs. Okay, but first there's a sealed doorway. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Lock picking is not a skill, so I'm going to say, I believe sleight of hand is what is used for lock picking. Yes, it is. So there's a sealed doorway. It doesn't say hidden. Can she unseal it? Uh, no boons this time. I don't know what's going on with my music. It seems to cut out randomly. Which I don't understand. I'll just cap this looping now. Okay, sorry. Um, let's see. So she's able to... Okay, I think she's going to be sneaking, so I'll roll a sneaking roll. Fourteen. Skill roll for sneaking failed. Let's see. Excuse me. Um, you know what? I'm going to say she is. Uh, she is going to. We'll go with disheartened because let's be honest. Okay, there we go. We are successfully sneaking. Um, how many are there? There are several several orcs. So she's going to keep on sneaking. I'm going to have her roll again for sneaking. 
again, trying to get past. Alright, succeeded. Um, I'm also going to have her roll awareness, basically just to see if she can hear anything about what's going on. Okay, she can. So. I'm gonna roll. Action, restore. Mighty trap. Okay. So. I interpret that to mean that she's overhearing some orcs talking about they need their uh, blacksmith back because they have some kind of um, I believe Gorham is actually a, uh, a blacksmith of some of some great skill so they have a mighty trap for some kind of large creature, maybe a giant or a troll or something, but it's been damaged in some way, like maybe that or maybe they hunt mammoths or something. And then they need him his help to fix their trap. Um, that might come in handy for later. So but she's able to make her way out. Um, and so we come to the next area, which... A burrowed tunnel. Okay. How many details do we have? Two details this time. Thank you. Um, let's see. Clinging webs and a sentient door. Okay. Ooh, so I don't. I'm not gonna roll for uh, inhabitants because I think I know what inhabits a place that has clinging webs. Um, all right, there's gonna be a sentient door at the end of this, but she is going to. I'm gonna have her keep sneaking. Okay, she's sneaking very well. So they're not noticing her, but I do want her to have to roll acrobatics to try not to uh, get caught by these webs. And I'm actually I'm tempted to give her a bane because it's a burrowed tunnel, so in my mind it's probably really cramped. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, do I give this a bane? No. Okay. Left that up to chance. So there's enough room that she doesn't get a bane for this. Okay. Very nice. So she's able to slowly work her way around the webs, not disturbing any of them, not making any noise, and eventually she comes to a sentient door. I'm imagining, like, the demon doors from Fable. Um, will this make a lot of noise? I don't know. Yes. Okay. So the door booms. Uh, and... Actually, will... <laughs> yeah, let's roll for the reaction of the door, actually. Oh, hey! Door's friendly. The door says, Welcome, traveler. It has been... Not too, too long since my last meeting, but you seem more friendly than the previous sorts. How may I provide assistance? Um, Halvelda has a low charisma. Um, she's going to say, keep it down. There's giant spiders lurking about. Could you kindly let me through so that I may... Uh, so that I may continue on my way and chase after the ones who came after you. 
or not came after you, who came before me. Uh, persuasion, disheartened. Ah, she's not gonna push the roll, he says. You know what? Uh, I think this would be funny. Uh, try and spite us. Oh, no, 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 no. I cannot not let giant spy run the risk of a giant spider running through my door. Door, especially not the one right behind you. Yeah, there's gonna be a giant spider. Um, I was bid not to allow such creatures through. You must kill it before it. Before I will allow passage. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say just one giant spider, because the. It's already gonna be a major pain. Uh. Uh. What? Oh, shoot. The giant spider also has, gets. Uh, let me check. Oh, yeah, it has ferocity too, so. Uh oh. Alright, Halvelda goes first. Alright, she is going to... Well, she only has, like... <laughs> melee weapons, so the first thing... First things first, she's going to dash forward and start cutting at the spider with her scimitar. She will slash at it. It connects, and the damage is... God dang pitiful. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think the spider would defend quite yet. Um, but that will be Halvelda's turn. Next comes the giant spider. Attack is random. Ramming attack with a great leap. The giant spider launches its massive body to play a character. The attack inflicts 2d6 bludgeoning damage and knocks the victim down. Uh, so that's the thing about uh, monsters is they get ex they uh, a lot of their attacks are basically um, you don't get to defend you just take it um, all right next up Way too many things going on here. Um, another attack. What was it? Tearing attack. The famished spider lunges at the player characters, frantically attacking with its multitude of hairy, barbed legs. All player characters within two meters suffer D8 piercing damage each. Seven! Okay, um... Hmm. I'm regretting, um... I'm really regretting this, uh... Having the spider. I, I'm beginning to think I'm really bad at the <laughs> dragon pain. Alright, well, I have uh, an attack. <sighs> no, I, mean, I have to go with the scimitar. The scimitar is my better option. Oh, come on. Uh, you know what? Ugh, no, that's actually really bad. Uh, let's go with... She's getting angry. Because I really need to do a lot more damage. Twelve. There we go. That's... Alright. 
No, 20 hit points left. Um, Alright, now the giant spider. Roll for attack. Mandibles. Serrated mandibles squish through the air like scimitars. The attack inflicts 2d8 slashing damage. 5 damage. Oh boy. Um, well... Surviving solo play. Uh, unfortunately, can't do that. Uh, attempt to rally yourself while at zero HP without a bane to the persuasion roll. Or attempt to save your own life with a healing roll while at zero HP. Well, let's try persuasion. Got nothing left to lose at this point. Yeah, that's about what I figured. All right, let's try to see if she lives at healing. That angry's really gonna. Oh, that was actually really close. Uh, you know what? Exhausted. Let's see. And okay. Well, eaten by a giant spider. That's uh. Yeah, because I don't think, even if, because I think the giant spider's just going to eat her. I, I don't think there's going to be much left. Okay, well. Um, hmm. You know what? Uh, there's a number of things I think I should be doing. Uh, one, I need to make a new character. But two, I think my problem is I'm not searching these rooms for treasure. I'm not searching them. I'm not doing anything. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm gonna have to make a new character again. Uh, this was a shorter video. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, hopefully next time I can um, Survive a bit longer. I need to remember to actually be searching the area for treasure and potential weapons and armor to help me out instead of just <laughs> running from room to room. I need to actually be taking the risk of looking around and seeing if there's something good to find. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this short episode. Uh... Thank you all for watching slash listening. Hope you have a great day. Bye.